everybody welcome back to another reaction it's lance again with dustin and brie and we are reacting to a brand new series or starting the episode one of a brand new series called uh sabico bisco which is like rust um something rust i something will correct me in the comments like always but heard really good things about this i'm always down for some good magic mushrooms and uh <laughs> pun uh, pun intended hey <laughs> no that was bad um i'll go punish myself later <laughs> i will punish myself later anyway this is episode one uh i just know of the synopsis and i saw like one quick trailer it looked freaking wild so this was definitely a must watch at least give it a shot show so let's just dive right on it yeah yes thank you <laughs> I mean, we watched like a quick trailer and that was pretty much it Oh, well, there's your problem. <laughs> oh, but God damn it, man. <laughs> Big bada boom. Oh, no. Your city. It's broken. I just... <laughs> what a way to start. Boom. There you go. Why did I have, like, I had a... a, a, a Flashback to pain in <laughs> the Leaf Village. Oh, oh my yeah. dear push. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Get wrecked. It's fine. I saw that giant like sinkhole and I was like, the League of Villains wishes they could. Shit. Dang. Yo. <laughs> so, so far though, the style of this is fucking fantastic. It, it is. feels yeah. very nineties, yeah. very like nineties, but better action, like better animated. Oh yeah. Like the hippos don't need to look that good. What the hell? Yes, they do. They really didn't. They do. <laughs> look. <laughs> Look, I'm not a stickler, like, animation, like, I mean, I love Ranky of Kings, and the animation of that is very kiddish, but it's amazing. But, but Kushiro Tensei oh, yeah. in 86 made life hell for new an for animated studios. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, I love, I love studios. If they can go all out, go all out. Is it necessary? No, but I love Yes, it is. It. Okay, Bisco has a reward, so he's got a bounty. He looks like Natsu. A little bit. Age seventeen. Of course, no one, no one in anime could be eighteen and above. It just that's not how it works. Yeah. No, they have to be right at eighteen, and then they'll be eighteen by the end of the series. Yeah, yep. they'll graduate, so to speak. I'm digging all the aesthetic of this right now. Oh yes, a hundred percent. Oh, so it looks like mushrooms are still illegal no matter the uh, age period. Rusting, got it. Yo, oh, hell nah. You pay for services you get. Don't worry that shit. Oh. Well, maybe not. So it's like the old lady like telling stories of her youth. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch this episode because there's a lot of exposition dumping. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it's setting up story, which I totally understand, but they're doing it quickly. Oh. No. That's so thick. It's scary. What the? Don't worry, it won't hurt. Exposition dump to this. It's the doctor. Oh, he is a pretty boy. With a black eye, or is that his? That's his design. Say, that's he cool. Have a black eye? That's his design. His design. Oh, you just get tetanus shots. <laughs> it is rust. Oh. Oh. Oh no, he's he's already a cinnamon roll. Yeah, he's a cinnamon roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Dr. Panda. Oh, oh my god. god, I love this guy already. Of course, his name is Panda. At least this cosplay would be easy to do. You just have to get the, the black around the eye, right? I still want, I want to know if these mushrooms were psychedelic mushrooms or not. Yeah, it's like I don't think they are, but it'd be funny if they were. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I was fun on the house, doctor. Damn. Oh, and he's got sisters. Uh oh. No, he wants to help people. Yep. This man has like six fucking nicknames. I mean, yeah, he could I probably only call him Panda, by the way. That none of those other names matter. Yeah. No, he's he's Doctor Panda, <laughs> or Milo. Milo's a good, interesting name. Alligator lobsters. Is he gonna, is he gonna give him mushrooms? He's got two giant clams. That's not a clam. This is a post-apocalyptic world. Anything's a clam if it tries hard I enough. Just... <laughs> oh, man. Bitch, don't be selling me in the middle of the street like this. <laughs> I was going to say, right under two spotlights. Jesus. Dangerous. Well, I'm pretty sure the mushrooms are a key to help, like, curing the rust stuff, I think. I was going to he says he was using injections to at least keep it away. Nope. I am too much of a cinnamon roll to at least not tip you. Mushroom terrorism. That's a that's a combo I didn't ever expect. Mushroom terrorism. I need to see these mushrooms in, in action before I care. I think they're a cure-ish thing. That's his sister, I'm assuming. Ooh, she oh, she's got bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Something's wrong with that other eye. Why does she look like Erza? She does kind of look like Erza. I'm not gonna lie, when he said sister, I was expecting like a five year old. Yup. No, I wasn't expecting a five. I was expecting younger sister, but. I was like, can we actually have, can she actually be a sister sister and not like, oh no, we're only like, we're stepsisters, so it won't be a weird thing? Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Dude's trying to cure new medicine. Look at them. Can we talk about how he's doing all this ungloved, unmasked experiments? I mean, kind of post-apocalyptic. <laughs> I literally think it's like Chernobyl. Like, that explosion just ruined that entire area forever. Yeah. Could have killed everybody. Or I could have, like, destroyed the world. Yeah. I forget, is this man waiting for something? He's, I think he's just letting him talk. I mean, he's weird. there to give us exposition. Yeah. It's weird that he's just here. Yeah. Oh, okay, he's waiting for the door to open, I think. He's a priest, too. Uh, uh, a slug plane. 
Why is this Fortnite all of a sudden? What the hell just happened? Mushrooms? That's a giant crab. There we go. Now it's getting weird. <laughs> Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's what that was. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> just every break is Full Metal Alchemist. It's got to be. Just scream. Okay, no, it's part of the Iron Desert thing. Got it. Who? Someone who? Right. Ooh, the music. Let's go. Right. Oh no. A girl. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. Wait. Oh. Stop. Lucky for you, I'm a man. Oh, thank God. I was like, how did I miss that? <gasps> he's, treating, he's treating he had a wound from the scorpion fly thing. Oh. This man is trying to win best boy of the year already. <laughs> really? He was well on his way, to be honest. It's true. I already have a best girl <coughs> of the season. We, we're getting best boy of the season already. Oh, look, he can already see out of that eye. Mm. This man. I'm getting, I'm getting Alan Walker level vibes of best boy from him. Yeah. <laughs> Tanjiro level of best boy from him. You're not wrong. Dang, waves at his thief. Uh, what the fuck? I love this. Now we got rabbit masks. What the fuck? Is this <laughs> it, man? No, it's, it's like, uh, it's like Umbrella Academy. This is so weird. Oh, I'm here for all of it, though. Oh, I govern this city. Ah, Mafia. Why you look so handsome? That's when you take a mushroom and squeeze it in his face. The captain of the watch. Oh, so she is like Urza. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, that's what he actor for that governor. Holy crap. Yeah, you can just feel the evilness in his voice. <laughs> Oh, nope, but here's Bisco. Oh! His arrow... Sprouts mushrooms. <laughs> Alright. The man-eating mushroom thing is making more sense now. He just, he lied his way through that gate. Good job. He lied his way through that gate. Because there's probably full, like, mushrooms, right? Yeah, that That's makes more sense. To get in the desert? Oh, now you want to ask questions. Now you wanted to ask questions. I was going to say, wasn't that Bo sticking over his shoulder the entire time? Yeah, seriously. Oh, yeah. we can see his face finally. Look, they knew. That's an interesting ability. <laughs> Shoot arrows with mushrooms. Oh, wow. And the fact that the helicopter goes down with the mushrooms and it doesn't kill them off, they just grow. I was like, is this... That's why mushrooms are... <laughs> banned?
I like the music. That wig. Uh. Yeah, have fun with this cosplayer. Dang. Just a bunch of mushrooms off. just towering over everything. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Girl. Don't. Oh. Girl got some One Piece proportions. Jesus Christ. She's Erza. She looks like Erza. She does. <laughs> but dressed like S Death. That's a dangerous combination to be. <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> be turned on and wanting her to step on me at the same time. <laughs> Dang. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, S Death and Erza. She about to knock your ass out. Yep. yep. <laughs> your poor brother. Your poor brother. Got you. <laughs> You're not wrong. You haven't watched enough anime, bruh. <laughs> Dang. Oh. If he could find some sort of cure just in time for her to die. Damn, Bisco just like flash stepped. Well. I'm not gonna lie, I like Bisco's design. It's really interesting. The man worth 800,000. That's just paint. Probably I think bleeding. That was blood. Okay, what a fucking fantastic right. first episode that was. Alright. I'm loving this ending. Hold up. Let me, let me mute that. Sorry, oh, stream people. Good. Oh, yeah, well, Ashley. There you go. <laughs> I mute it on the other end. <laughs> nice. Well. Uh, but, I mean, we could talk about what over this, but, I mean... Yeah. I guess the only nitpick I have is going to be the fact that the exposition in this first episode. Oh, yeah, that was my God. God. <laughs> I just was like, no, I can't keep up with that. We're just going to have to get it. Well, I hit the, the, the main prop points of like his sister, the, the mushrooms, who, you know, Bisco is, who Panda is. That's the main thing, which is great. Um, yeah, I really want to know about the truth of the mushrooms in general, because... Yes, they went over it, but not enough for me to be satisfied about Interesting. it. Interesting. Like, this is like a preview, like, the next episode where it shows him fighting his sister. That's not going to end well for anybody, but. Yeah, I do like Bisco's design a lot. You're right. That's what happens, if, that. I, that's what happens when Natsu would, would grow up. Yeah. I 100% agree the fact that this gives me very 90s, very cowboy bebop, like, vibes. I don't know about bebop, but yeah. it definitely gives me, it definitely gives me 90s. Sore on King's Trumpet. Okay, interesting. Uh, but yeah, going back to it, the only nitpick I would give is all the exposition dub, which I can understand why you do it. Honestly, it, and it's the first episode, so I understand you need to do it. It's always a pet peeve of mine with storytelling. It's just that much exposition dump, but it's a nitpick, and I'm not too upset with it. Because it does the one thing, and it's funny that we watched this so shortly after Orient. It's it's done the one thing already that Orient hasn't been able to do yet, which is give me a world I want to know more about, right? It's yeah. giving me that world building. It's like, oh shit, so what's with these mushrooms, with these characters? Panda seems a really cool person, stuff like that. Also, once again, I don't want to compare it to another anime, but already the characters are some I can already attach myself to. Unlike with Orient, where it's like, okay, I'm oh, still yeah. feeling at these characters, but I, I'm already in love with the Bisco's design, with his attitude already. I love Panda. He's great. We love him because of his s voice, And that's the good pur purpose of this first episode is we got Panda, the doctor, how much of a good person he is. And that kind of helps yeah. to push that along. Um, but yeah, I mean, 90s feel all the way. 90s, early 2000s feel. A little, like, yeah. I would say more like a uh, Trigun-esque feel to it with how, like, yeah. the, the desert. You got a good... Good character development. 
very clean on the animation, not a lot of CGI. When the CGI is used, it's used correctly and well. Um, mm -hmm. I love the character designs, once again. I love the story. I'm not sure if this is a light novel. I'm assuming it is. The commenters can let me know. Uh, I can understand why this was a really hyped show. This was always it was up there in the, some of the most hyped shows for the season. I can understand why. This first episode was a banger of a first episode. Yeah, yeah. it's really good. Um, well, and go ahead. You, you were talking about how... Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, no. Um, I was kind of done with my point. Uh, about how, like, this makes you... We have two opposite sides of the spectrum with Orient in this show. Mm -hmm. And I think also something they're doing well is, like, in Orient, like, all we got was... Not even just with the world, with the cities. All we got was city controlled by Oni. This is like, we got to see, I guess, for a better lack of a word, the red light district in this city. Kind of, yeah, like, an area oh, that's this rural. Entire, this Lice, entire city yeah. is in poverty. We have this, you know, evil governor. Pretty much governor. Like, we got more about just the city in general. Yeah. And the world, world. world building. It's world building. It's world building, right? It's yeah. exactly what it is. It comes down to world building. And I must, personally, for me, if you, if you start giving me a, a great world to, to live in, oh, that's why the best ones do it. 86, because Tensei, those, like, Odd Taxi, those worlds that they build become crazy good. And you're invested in the world. The characters help. But the world is the main point for me, at least when it comes to that. Um, but yeah, really good first episode. Really freaking fantastic first episode. Um, mm -hmm. Definitely need to go back and rewatch it for exposition reasons. Also, like, once yeah. again, if anybody in the comments, definitely let me know if there's anything like I, that was super important that we missed. Because, um, like I said, I'm going to have to go back and rewatch this a second time. I usually do anyway, but this is one I'm going to have to pay attention to a little more. Uh, it, 86 was that way where I had to start start really going back and rewatch the episodes just to be like, okay, what happened with this? What happened with that? So, um, <laughs> who's yeah, let us know. Who's alive? Who's missing? Exactly, right? Uh, so yeah, let us know your thoughts down below, uh, comments and all that stuff. Feel free to follow me on Twitter. Please like, share, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz algorithm crap. Please sub if you're not subbed. If you're not, you know, if you don't sub, that's on you. I'm not gonna beg you for subs. Please sub. No, I'm checking. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we'll we'll catch y'all for another uh, another reaction sometime soon. Uh, go eat some mushrooms. I do have mushrooms. I might oh eat some mushrooms. God. Regular legal <laughs> mushrooms, by the way, not magic mushrooms. I don't have any yeah. of those. So let's uh we are let's, such let's, bad influence. I'm a great influence. It's called it's called enabling and and enabling is so right. 